I teach uh, 7th through 12th grade. I have, this year I have um, hands-on art courses for 7th and 8th graders. And I teach art appreciation to high school students. And um, in this crazy world right now, being able to teach virtually is um, <laughs> a benefit and advantage. But uh, we are definitely, um, along with the classroom teachers, experiencing things that we haven't had to deal with before as well. I also design uh, seamless repeat patterns for fabric and wallpaper. Which you did for the dress you're wearing. I did! This is, this is one of my latest designs. And you'll see like the textures in here. These are actually, I photographed some of my gel prints. I I can't remember if this is the ex exact one I used, but I can adjust the color a and little who bit. Who makes the fabric? Um, this is a, a print-on-demand um, site, Redbubble, where you can buy t-shirts and pillows. I've got all kinds of products on there with lots of different patterns and designs. Some fabric, um, you can buy pillows. My phone case is one of my patterns. <laughs> if, if I've got a chunk of time, and sometimes that's not possible as a teacher, especially at the beginning of the school year, I want to I want to get in here and just and just play with these colors and these shapes and the textures, and that's a really good outlet for me. If um, if it's the end of the day, I don't have a chunk of time. I still have some grading to do later. Um, I might pull out my iPad and do some design work then, so I can just sit and have it in my lap, and I don't have to make a mess <laughs> like I do here with this. Tell me about these over here, if you don't mind. Right? These are. Um, these are block prints. Um, the traditional media is linoleum, and I have used it before, but there's also a material called soft cut that is super easy to carve. It's like carbon butter, and it's just, it's such a, a relaxing process. It's, it's a block that's kind of flexible, and you use carving tools in it. So what this is, like you'll see this one here, on the block, I carved away everything that was going to have the white paper showing through. And then you ink it up, kind of like I did the gel press, only it's, it's firmer, and press the paper onto it to get the impression. With these down here, it's the same process, but I went in, um, like on this one, I have some colored pencil added in with that. I like to print on like old book pages and um, vary the, the backgrounds up a little bit. Uh, some of them have some extra like markers, opaque markers on top of them. So these are all this greeting cards that I did, um, a, little, a couple of small pieces. Excellent. It's really cool getting to know the students through through the virtual, seeing them in Zoom and, and interacting with them that way and um, a lot of emails taking place and it's fun and it's fun to see the, the artwork.